We are going to move now to Washington, D.C. And as Robert Mueller's special counsel investigation of President Trump appears to be wrapping up, House Democrats are just getting started with theirs. Nancy Cordes reports on today's sweeping request for documents. It's a political hoax. There's no collusion. President Trump shrugged off the Democratic move today, but its scope was sweeping. 81 individuals and institutions, a who's who of Trump world, were given two weeks to hand over financial documents, emails and memos, anything related to, among other things, Russian loans and investments, presence from foreign governments, the firing of FBI Director James Comey, and hush money payments to two or more women. Are you going to cooperate with Mr. Nadler? I cooperate all the time with everybody. And you know the beautiful thing? No collusion. The request, backed by subpoena power, went out from House Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler to the president's sons, his 2016 campaign officials, current and former White House aides, executives from Trump Organization, and some associates who have already been charged with crimes. Nadler told all of them he is investigating, quote, allegations of obstruction of justice, public corruption, and other abuses of power. It's very clear that the president obstructed justice. It's very clear. Uh, 1,100 times he referred to the Mueller investigation as a witch hunt. Republicans argued Democrats are just hedging their bets in case special counsel Robert Mueller comes up empty-handed. The president made Russia. a similar charge no this collusion. weekend. So now they go and morph into, let's inspect every deal he's ever done. We're going to go into his finances. We're going to check his deals. We're going to check. These people are sick. Nadler's committee, House Judiciary, is also the committee that would oversee any impeachment proceedings. Nadler said it's too early to talk impeachment and that what he's focused on right now is looking into presidential actions, Jeff, that fall outside the special counsel's jurisdiction but may still have broken laws and norms. Nancy Cordes, thanks very much.